Good afternoon, folks. Tiny scientific controversy ongoing with the forecast of yesterday's CME eruption. When it comes to analysis and that forecast, it appears to be me versus everyone else. Let's dive in, shall we? So here is the X-class flare and long duration second component. It lasted three hours, well longer than the minimum needed to erupt plasma. You can even see a bit of the erupted plasma here in 193 angstroms, even though most likely came from the upper corona where it's much harder to spot. The timing of the CME eruption visibility on SOHO coronagraph C3 here perfectly matches the flare itself. So why wouldn't we think this full halo eruption was from that flare and is on its way to Earth, likely to arrive late on June 4th or early on the 5th? But earlier today, NASA's Enlil spiral updated, showing the blast going the other way. What they based this on, I have no idea. They literally had to ignore the Earth side flaring and guess that it came off the back. There's no evidence of a flare or CME visibility on the other side of the sun. It is 100% a guess. But they certainly got Dr. Tony Phillips on board. His website today claims the CME came off the far side and will miss the Earth. Now there is one more piece of evidence we could use, and that is from Stereo A. It is positioned here right now, so we'd want to see more plasma motion on the left side of its view if it's coming at Earth, right side if it went off the far side of the sun. Unfortunately, the core of the important data is not there, only the tail end of the eruption on their core 2 coronagraph. If you can catch it here, the motion on the left side is the eruption leaving the sun which, while being dismally minimal in terms of helpfulness, if anything, suggests the Earth-directed conclusion. Even leaving that out, we had the long-duration flare and CME visible on the Earth-facing side. The full halo CME on SOHO C3 matches the timing perfectly, and opposing that is a 100% guess with no evidence about a far-side CME happening to take place at the exact same time. In my opinion, it's a very weird guess by NASA that it came off the far side, one with no evidence. But about an hour ago, their Enlil spiral re-updated, showing a more Earth-directed event. And since literally nothing else has erupted since that flare, I don't know what else this could be but a correction. So far, NOAA has not updated their Enlil spiral. Apparently, they're taking Sunday off up in Denver to dye their hair pink or something. Alas, despite what NASA's original model and what Dr. Tony Phillips says, I say they were wrong. We will know for sure either late on June 4th or early on June 5th, and there's no hiding for any of us now. You will all get to see who was right in real time. Until then, still watching the sun for more eruptions, and I'll see you in the morning for the Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.